Assuming that you have both the generators tool as well as the Sublime Text helper plugin installed, let's go through a bit of workflow to see how we can best use this. So maybe we want to display a resource for something silly like dogs. Well, I'm going to search for Laravel and I want to do a resource or we can take advantage of fuzzy searching and I can just type resource. All right, I'm going to create a resource for a dog. And here are the table fields. Well, maybe a dog needs a name and maybe an age. Notice that I'm using the column colon type format. All right, and with that single command, it creates the model, it creates the dog's controller, it will create the migration file consisting of those two columns that we specified. It's going to create a dog's table seeder. It will update your master seeder to call that file, create your model, it will create a dog's views folder. It will create some simple dog's tests, to make sure that those basic routes are working. And also if I switch to my routes file, it will register that route for you. So at this point we could migrate the database, but I do want to have something to work with. So we'll just add a couple real quickly. A name will be Sparky and his age will be five. And then we'll do one more for Susie and her age will be nine. Great, so now we've specified some rows. Now I'm going to not generate a command like this, but we just wanna run essentially PHP artisan migrate, something that you've done before. Well, the plugin gives you an ability to execute any PHP artisan command. I'm just gonna type artisan, and notice if I hit enter, I'm not going to type PHP artisan here, I'm just going to type the name of the artisan command. So in our case, migrate. And the only other one I want to do is seed the database. All right, so now if I switch back, I reload, you'll see we do have our new dogs table with those two rows, great. The next thing I wanna do is just set up a couple of my views. So when somebody accesses slash dogs, like that, then we would wanna say maybe dogs equals dog all, and then return view make, and go into the dogs folder, grab the index view, and send through a list of all the dogs. Great, so now we can go into our index view. We're not going to worry about a master page here, let's keep it simple. But we will filter through all of those dogs using a little bit of the blade sugar here. And let's simply echo out the dog's name, followed by a colon, and then the dog's age. Very, very simple stuff. Let's now boot up the server and check this out. PHP artisan serve. And if I browse to slash dogs, sure enough, we're going to fetch those from the database and display them. The only other thing we might wanna do is show a single dog. So why don't we put this on its own line and we'll wrap all of this within an anchor tag. Here, let's link to, and because we created a resource, Laravel will create the necessary named route for us. So we're gonna go to dogs show and send through the dog ID. And I think that should do it. Reload the page, now we have these two links. And if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, one goes to dog slash one, the next goes to dog slash two. And the final thing you wanna do is register that within your controller. Return, view, make, dogs.show. And then if we wanna store this within a variable, dog find by ID, and update this. Now the final thing I need to do is go to views slash dogs slash show and update this. And let's keep it super simple here. Let's just do dog name. And I think that should do the trick. So now if I reload the page, there we go. So you can see with very little effort, we were able to generate migrations and create a resource which will generate and give you some boilerplate for lots of these files. It will automatically update some of your files so that you don't have to do some of these tedious actions. It really can be helpful. And what's most incredible is that other than booting up a server, you can execute all of those commands from directly within Sublime Text simply by running generate or running the artisan command. So I hope you enjoy it.